In this video, we're going to show you how to calculate enthalpy from changes in temperature in a chemical reaction. Okay, so let's point out a couple things about the data that we have here. So this is our calorimeter, and we can see that it has a volume of 200 milliliters, and the temperature now is 76.6 degrees. You can also see that over here. We also can see the volume and the size of the flask over here, and we can see the molarity over here. Okay, so this has a lot of data for us to use to do these calculations. Okay, so let's start with our temperature. We're going to calculate delta T. So our initial starting temperature of our reactants was 25.0 degrees C. And our new temperature is 76.56 um, degrees C. Okay, so delta T, when we subtract those, equals 51.56 degrees C. Now, we can plug that in to solve for Q. Now, we need to remember that this volume of 200 milliliters is going to be the mass of our water because water has a density of one. Therefore, one milliliter of water equals one gram of water. So if you have 200 milliliters, you have 200 grams. And then we'll use the specific heat of water, which is 4.186 joules per gram degree C, and our delta T of 51.56 degrees C. Now we get to cancel units. Everything cancels except for the joules, which is our energy unit. And so we have, when we solve this, a Q of 43,000. 166 joules, but for heat, we need to report that in kilojoules. So let's go ahead and convert that 1000 joules for every one kilojoule and then joules cancels and you're left with 43.17 kilojoules. Okay, now we can calculate the number of moles. That's part of our delta H. We need to know how many moles of, of uh, product we have. All right, so we have the molarity reported over here. And so we can use that to find moles. Remember molarity M is equal to the moles of solute per liter of solution. So if we know we have 200 0 milliliters of this solution, we need to get it in liters, so 1,000 milliliters per one liter, and we have a molarity of 0.5. We can plug that in as 0 0.500 moles per one liter. And that will give us our N value, number of moles. All right, so the milliliters cancels, the liters cancels. And then when we solve this, we get a total of zero point, whoops, zero point one zero zero moles of our, re our product. Okay, so now we can use that to solve for delta H. Now remember that our temperature went from 25 degrees C to 76 degrees C. That means there was an increase in temperature, meaning our reaction is exothermic. That means our delta H value is going to be negative. Okay, so now we're ready to calculate our delta H. We found that Q is equal to 43.17 kilojoules, and our N value is 0 0.100 moles. All right, when we punch, a, punch this in our calculator, we actually get a value of 431.7. However, we are rounding to three significant figures based on this measurement here. So we're going to end up rounding this to negative, because it was exothermic, 432 kilojoules per mole. And that's our final answer.